All right, welcome back to the Four County Real Estate Show. I'm your host, Kevin Carey, with Caliber Home Loans. I got Nita Young with me here today. Say hello, Nita. Hello, everybody. She is with CLA Title. We are doing video two uh, follow up on title insurance. So, the first video we talked about lenders and owners coverage, we talked about what title insurance is. This video is really going to talk about the differences between standard mm -hmm. and enhanced. Yes. Uh, you, you do have two options from an owner's title insurance policy when you do purchase it at closing. So Nina, standard and enhanced, just kind of take from there, give me some pros and cons, things that you see and that are the differences between the two. So um, of course, neither is required, mm -hmm. um, only that of the lender. And I always emphasize that the lender's policy does not protect you. At minimum, get a standard policy, which, which will protect against the more basic things mm -hmm. that could affect title. Um, like if you did find out that it was conveyed improperly, you know, um, or you know, there was a miss, I I'm not going to say, like if there was a series of uh, numbers and, and letters mm -hmm. in, in the tax ID and they put in the wrong number in a certain spot, it's going right. to work for things like that. But then, you know, we live in a day where right now properties are appreciating like crazy. Correct. So you buy, let's say it's a $100,000 home right um, the policy that you got was for a hundred thousand dollar home right well in the meanwhile that house is hopefully still appreciating and right. the market keeps going like it's been going mm -hmm. it's appreciating what about that equity how is that that overage protected right. um, when you do an enhanced policy it will cover up to hundred and fifty percent of the original uh, okay. amount okay so let me just stop you there yes. so I bought my house for a hundred yes it's now worth 150, let's say, yes. right? And then all of a sudden, of course, I want to sell it now, right? I want to sell it because the house values are up. All of a sudden we find out there's a lien, there's some issue that we didn't know about. And if you caught the last video, we talked about a couple things like that. Um, if not, check it out. Now all of a sudden I, go, I want to go to closing. I, I get a call from the title company from you and say, mm -hmm. hey, by the way, can you tell me a little bit about this lien for $2,000 from a landscaper that you know, wasn't on there when you bought the property. Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden what I'm understanding is that that extra $50,000 worth of equity that you're selling the house for is potentially may not be covered with the enhanced. Is that correct? It, with the standard, it may not be covered. Okay. And it really wouldn't be like a judgment or a lien. This would be probably something a much bigger, okay. where someone is, you know, has claims of ownership of the property, um, something to that effect. and. Now you selling your house is in question is, are you really and truly the owner? Or was it okay. that the original owner sold you the house with their girlfriend instead of their wife who was supposed oh, to be the one signing off? So on this it? is gonna be more <laughs> fraud related type you, of coverage, you're gonna correct? Get, you're gonna get, it's gonna be something that would affect a okay. value of that much. A $2,000 lien is right. not gonna be okay. as big of a deal, right. but this is, okay, now I need to uh, recoup what I've invested into this property. Right. You've spent a hundred, but now it's worth 150. In yeah. your standard policy, you could receive, you could be compensated up to $100,000. In the enhanced, you can be compensated up to 150,000 um, okay. because of you having that policy that will cover up to, uh, up to five years at 10% increase each year. Okay. All right, well, that's good to know because obviously values have been increasing by way more than 10% since COVID hit, so it's always a good thing. So go into a little bit more. What are some other things that the enhanced coverage will give you that the standard would not? Well, another one would be uh, building code or violations, like per not mm -hmm. getting your permit, right. which unfortunately, a lot of people do that. You'd be yeah. surprised they do not get the permit and then we get ready to sell and we are not aware that the basement is finished or we are not aware that they right. added, you know, 2,000 square feet to the rear of the house. So now that becomes an issue. This is where you have a title issue. This is where we are now gonna come in and, and be able to assist. The standard policy does not cover building uh, violations. Let's go back to that. So let's say I'm selling my house, right? Mm -hmm. I put a big addition, 2,000 square feet. I don't do the right thing. I don't get the permits. Mm -hmm. I sell my house to you, mm -hmm. right? You have no idea whether or not I got the permits or not. You don't ask the questions. You know, it is your choice. You should go to the courthouse and check it out. But mm -hmm. let's say I don't do those things. I close. Now, the you're going to file with the courthouse the new square footage. 
mm -hmm. the new sales price, all those different things. And the courthouse is going to go, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. We've got this house assessed based on, let's say, 4,000 square feet. You're now buying it at 6,000 square mm -hmm. feet. How the heck did it get bigger and why didn't we know about mm -hmm. it? Now the county comes in, contacts you, right? Mm -hmm. And goes, hey, I know you just bought 123 Main Street. We have it assessed at four, you're now at six. Can you give me a copy of the permits? Why didn't you get the permits? And mm -hmm. you go, what are you talking about? I just bought the house, like I bought it like this. I didn't. Yes. So those are the types of things that would protect and the enhance it, compared to the standard, am I correct? It will, and at, at minimum, someone who will legally go and fight on your behalf. Because right. I've heard horror stories where they've been asked to tear down the addition, whatever was oh, done, wow. because it was not permitted. Right. And that's expensive. Yeah. But especially if you, well, you're talking about a 2,000 square foot addition. Right. You're going to be really ticked off because you bought a house based off of being 6,000 square foot, not a 4,000 square foot house. Right. So, you know, it is something good to have in place. Um, I always say, at minimum, put a standard policy in place. At least protect yourself to have some protection for yourself. Yeah. But if you do have these type of concerns, by all means, get an enhanced policy. It's typically 20% uh, more mm -hmm. than what you would pay for the standard policy. But, but again, it's a one-time cost. It's, I mean, a it's, one -time, yeah. it's not like our normal insurance where we're paying right. that on a monthly basis. Right. No, this is a one-time right. fee mm -hmm. that will cover your rear end. And look, <laughs> and when the lender's doing the numbers for you, he's already incorporating the enhanced policy into those factors. So it's not like, hey, I gave you a standard coverage for a thousand, the enhance is going to be two thousand. You know, mm -hmm. not like it's a thousand dollar difference. They should be giving you those numbers at the at the beginning and the onset. So it's, it's something that's already factored in your out of pocket expense before you even write the contract. So, listen, what you have behind me right now, Nita has provided a list. It's got standard and enhance. It goes over what covers what. Um, you know. If you have questions, you have thoughts, concerns, uh, Nina's information is also behind us right now, reach out to her. She's the expert. She can really go into and explain to you the differences. Um, obviously, if you're looking for a settlement attorney, obviously Nita and her company are great. They can handle that stuff for Absolutely. you. But more importantly, they're gonna educate you on the differences so that you know you're making the right decision. And sometimes the standard is the correct choice. Yes. Absolutely. But obviously, we just came out of a like you said, COVID, escalating values, courthouses are closed. Did it close the right way? Did someone do something because they didn't have the right identification? Like you said, the wife doesn't know. The girlfriend is the one who signed as the wife. And yes. next thing you know, we got that whole issue. So there are reasons why this is a good idea and why we highly recommend it. But again, it's your choice in the end. But again, Nia's information is behind me. Reach out to her. She's the expert. Uh, Nita, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Always love being with you. Look, I know this conversation comes up every time I talk with a client, especially when they're buying the house, especially first-time home buyer. So this video is really helpful. Um, if you like what you heard, hit the uh, subscribe button down below. And hope to see you next time on the Ford County Real Estate Show. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.